Hey everyone, how's it going? Shuffles back here with another video, and today what we're going to do is another The Best video. Uh, I read you guys' comments from the last video. Thank you so much for helping me figure out what I wanted to do with these. Um, I was going to do LQC today, but I realized that in less than 24 hours, we're having this multi-banner with all these limited units, and I'm going to want to catch them as well as I'm going to want to catch FCC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record all four of those units, so the three limiteds and the FCC video, and I'm going to be putting them all out over the course of the next few days. So if you do want to catch, we're doing DN today, if you didn't know by the thumbnail. Um, if you didn't, if you wanted to catch somebody other than the DN, you wanted to catch one of the other ones, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the one you are looking for. I will try and put one out each of the next four days. If I miss a day, I'm sorry, um, but you know, it happens. Anyway, we're already a minute in the video and we're not even onto the game yet. There we go. So today we're gonna look at my DN. Uh, I think she is one of the better DNs in the game. I do use her a lot in Legend and High Champion RTA. Um, you can see she's currently only in print A, but she is skilled up, uh, currently plus 13. If you're wondering what I didn't skill up, I didn't skill up her skill one here, um, but she's still very, very strong. Um, and let's take a look at her stats. So here you go. I have changed her recently. She used to be about 220 speed, and she used to be much tankier with much more res. So she used to be around 200 res with like 18k HP and 1500 defense. Uh, but now she's built like this because she is way faster. So let's start with, we'll start with her stats and we'll go into her individual pieces of gear. Uh, 251 speed is the main thing. I currently have her at 251 speed because I want her to go before Arby's. I want her to go basically first. So anything crazy that's gonna go and try and do damage to me, I can try and absorb that damage before it happens uh, instead of trying to heal after it happens. Also, because she cycles so well, she gives herself 50% attack bar boost on her skill three. This one here. Uh, when she does her skill three, she gives herself 50% attack bar. So if she's fast, like, I've had her actually, depending on the uh, speed RNG, I've actually had her do her skill 3 and then her skill 2 before my SSBs ever even move, because my SSB is quite slow. Um, but think of it the other way. If you're going up against an enemy SSB, maybe you've gotten a couple of skills off already before um, before she moves, and then hopefully at that by that point you've already killed her. So... Keep in mind, speed is very good for her. She doesn't need to be nearly this fast. Um, I just have her tuned for me. If you want to make her slower, that's entirely up to you. Um, what I'm actually going to do later in the video, because uh, we don't, know, I'm not showing any clips for her. Uh, I'm going to show you a different build. I'm going to show you how I would go about building her. I know I've done a few recant, account reviews recently, and a lot of people have really enjoyed my gearing process and what I do and how I go about gearing them. Uh, so we're going to try that out later in the video. If you guys like it, I will probably, I'm actually going to do the same thing whether you like it or not, because I'm going to pre-record it, but I'm going to do the same thing for the FCC video as well. Um, but anyway, 251 speed, this doesn't have to be this fast again. So don't worry about it. If you're nowhere near there, just make sure that she goes first, right? You need her to go before your damage dealers. Otherwise, why are you bringing an attack buff? She scales very well with speed because of her skill three. Not only that, but she also has this. This is a cleanse and a barrier. I actually occasionally will use the barrier first. If it looks like, for example, my the enemy crow is gonna go right after her and I just don't want it to get take too much damage. Uh, if it's an LR crow, I will potentially do this first to absorb the crow damage instead of going this first because uh, her heal isn't, Great, right? Her, her heal is only rod. So, um, moving on, Light of Judgment, her skill one. You don't have to skill this up for damage. She doesn't provide a lot of damage. But that being said, the CR manipulation on her skill one, boosting herself again, uh, just 
imagine her with this 250 speed and how many turns she's going to take if she's going S3, 50% attack bar boost, S1, 15% attack bar boost, S2, shield, S1, 15% attack bar boost, S3, and just repeat, right? She's non-stop cycling turns, very similar to someone like Cerise. Um, looking back at her stats, in terms of tankiness, she's she looks very squishy when I go into a fight because people look and they're like, oh, only 14k HP. She must have super high res. The reason she only has 14k HP is because she's very fast and because her defense is very high. She has a defense ring. We'll go back to the gear in a second. And then finally, the last thing really to notice is she does have some res. She used to be around 200. I've dropped her down to 127 because of the way the meta is currently. It's weird because I had her super high res and then I dropped her to this and then Tenebria came out. But I really don't want to change her. I could change her, but I'm not really bringing her into blue Tenebria comps because blue Tenebria has two buffs and Deanne only cleanses one. So even if she resists, it doesn't do me much good. Uh, taking a look at her individual pieces of gear, she is on speed boots, of course. That's how she got that fast. Um, speed boots with HP, defense, res. Everything you're looking for in a Deanne, you don't need anything else other than that. Same thing here, defense with speed, HP, and res. Ideally, we'd like to get rid of that flat attack and put it into HP, but 17 speed. Um, I don't have her on my fastest gear. I have a lot of other units that are faster than her. So to be able to put a 17 speed piece on her, I was happy with, even though it was defense. Um, and then an HP neck with 19 speed and she, its immunity as well. Um, this only has one other tanky substat on it in the defense percent, but because 19 speed uh, on an immunity piece, I can't be too picky about that. The left side is where I was able to be a little pickier. Here we have speed HP res, high speed again with 17 speed and decent res with okay HP as well. Speed, defense, and res on this one. You can see I was focusing more on res than I was on tankiness. Just because I wanted her to have some res, I need her to like not get skill one provoked by like an FCC or something, ideally. And then finally, speed with res here and flat HP. Not the best piece, but it does the job. Um, I could probably make her tankier, but if I make her tankier, she loses res. I could give her more res, but if I give her more res, she loses speed. Um, all around, getting all these subsets, I'm really happy with. She's been doing work for me and I really like it. In terms of artifacts, you can, because of her skill one, you could put her on something that like heals a little bit more with her skill one. But I kind of like Rod. Uh, she cycles her skills so fast that I really don't mind it. So usually what I do when I'm gearing units, uh, in terms of just DN stats and how to build her, that's kind of it for this video. So if that's all you were looking for, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for the other ones. If you do want to see what the other build is going to look like, I'm going to quickly gear her up. Uh, it should take about five minutes and kind of show you what I do when I gear units and what I'm looking for and how I'm setting her up. So I know I want speed immunity. Immunity is important. I'm going to be putting out a video on that soon. People don't seem to get how important immunity is, um, especially in the current meta. So I'm going to go speed immunity sets since I know no matter what I want those two sets. Also, I want her probably in that 220 speed range, but we're going to try and make her tankier. So what I'm going to do is going to go HP and defense. Uh, so obviously weapon, you can't get, uh, you can't get defense. So we'll go res. So this one, we can't I-90. It's not a bad piece, but we'll skip that one. Speed HP res. This is a really nice piece right here. So we'll lead with that. Very tanky as well. Um, we can just we can kind of look and see if we want to go res, we want to go defense. This is a really nice piece here. Speed, HP, defense, res. Again, I'm less worried about speed in this particular build, so we're going to do it this way. This one's got effectiveness, so you want to avoid it. This one's got four good substats, so we'll take that one. Moving on. 
This one too, speed HP, defense res. This one has a little bit less res, so you kind of have to decide if you want to go high res or if you want to go uh, something like this. If you if you don't care, as, well, this one doesn't have speed on it. So maybe that's a bad example. Um, Speed HP res. That one doesn't have defense on it. I'm trying to find one that would also have defense on it. This one's speed HP res, but no defense. Yeah, it looks like that uh, that first one was the better one. So we're going to go with this one. Even though it's got a little less res than some of the others, so it's fine. And then this one, we're going to go, I want her on HP because her rods, yeah, that sounds a little inappropriate. Her um, her artifact scales off, her healing scales off of HP. Uh, so let's go like this. I'm pretty sure it does anyway. Now I'm suddenly doubting myself. So this one, actually, let's go defense here if we can. Defense and resistance. So speed... HP main, defense, and res. Nice piece here. We don't have any immunity yet. So we might end up looking at this piece. What's this one look like? This one's got crit rate on it. Probably don't want it. This one's marginally probably worse than this one, but it is on immunity and we need the immunity, so... Let's do that. Now this one, this one is a tricky spot because for her, I think you want HP main stat here. You could go defense as well. This is actually probably really good for her. So unfortunately, um, this doesn't have speed on it. So you're gonna be sacrificing a little bit of speed here, but you're getting 40 res without having to run a res ring really nice and then we can come over we'll go speed boots change this to HP ideally so we only we're short on an immunity piece here so let's knock this off speed and see what kind of boots we have This one's HP defense with no res. Let's see what that one looks like. So interesting build. We actually somehow managed to lose res on this build, but we got way tankier. <laughs> so something like this would be acceptable. Um, we could obviously switch this over and go speed set. We'll go res. Probably the, actually the ones we already have on are really good. Oops, I lost our, lost our chess piece there from Doris, but that's fine. How about this one? Speed res and HP. This is the one we were looking at before. We can put that one on. Um... So there's another variation. This one a little bit higher res. You got 160 res, 200 speed with 20k HP and 1400 defense. Uh, but that kind of will show you kind kind of different ways you can build her. She's not necessarily purely one build. It kind of depends on your team. Uh, personally, like I said, I'm enjoying mine on the build on the left. I'm not. I never have any issues in terms of her tankiness because. Very rarely is she getting defense broken early and then damage dealt into her. Uh, the only issue is maybe last rider crowd, but like I said, I can always skill I can always go before him because I'm faster than him and I can put up shield if I need to. Uh, also, beyond that, people will see her HP and they'll try and attack into her. And because she's got such high defense, she takes very little damage. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the re-gearing process and if you like this to be a part of these videos or not. Um, I am going to do this for the FCC video, but for future ones, 
Uh, I'll kind of leave it up to you guys. But that's going to be it for Dian. I am going to go settle into some of the other limiteds that are coming in the next couple of days. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.